Welcome to Football Manager 2017, my Wigan game in the year 2035, beginning of March. I'm currently first in the English Championship. I'm still gloating about that fact. And I'm playing Hull, who are 17th. And, okay. And McGlade and Heaton have both failed fitness tests. Heaton, I put him in the under 23s to try and get him back up to fitness. And he got injured in the under 23s. And apparently McGlade is, still hasn't recovered from his injury. Hull, not a team I'm a fan of, I must admit. But at one point I did live up in that part of the world. So I was not a fan of them or Grimsby but I was more a fan of Lincoln when I was in that vague part of the world and apparently oh yes Chamberlain got injured for two to three weeks so they did give me the option of giving him an injection to get him through this game but this game I didn't think was important enough to risk him on so Jamie Slaughter as the backup gets in there, Heaton, get out of my team because you're injured again. Uh, McGlade, you don't go on the bench either, so that kind of makes it Mr. Wilson and Mr. Wall can go on the bench. Robbie Byrne gets another chance to impress me in the midfield, alongside Goodwin Obi. My defence and goalkeeper are as good as they get, so I really would like to have Mr. Heaton back full time. And I would like to have Mr. Chamberlain back, but this is the team I've got, so this is the team that will play. As the leaders of the division, yes, I'm still gloating about that fact, by a total of one point. With 12 games to go. I will hopefully be able to deal with a Hull team that is apparently not meant to be that great. There again, apparently I'm not meant to be that great, but I'm exceeding expectations. Once again, I failed to win manager of the month. There again, the Southampton result probably doomed me on that one. I wasn't even in the top three. So it would be nice to go on a run Lousy free kick, Wedderburn. It'd be nice to go on a run to actually get myself manager of the month, just like I'd like to finish first to get manager of the year. And apparently Plymouth are beating Southampton. Plymouth, a team I beat recently 3-2, I believe. And Southampton already had gold down to them. There again, I think they gave me a scare when I played them, so... Eek. Don't give the ball away like that, Obi. You're one of my better players. I, I rely on you for talent. Oh, good ball. Well taken. For once, Turner, you didn't shoot at the goalkeeper. In fact, you seem to have got that out of your system recently. I also noticed that Mark Heaton, due to his frequent injuries, has dropped in skill level in a lot of his attributes relatively recently so even if he comes back he may not come back to the play at the level that he was before he went and got injured and I, outside of the actual match I am actually doing a mass scouting of people whose contracts are due to expire at the end of the year as well as oh good goal as well as players from the top six clubs in England as they tend to release a lot of very talented young players so I'm getting a jump on the scouting of those before they get released that that was a beautiful swing of the right foot by Ward there to put that in the back of the net fair play to the man he scored a great goal sometimes you just have to deal with the fact that other teams have talented players too not always a nice fact to have to deal with but it is a fact. Other teams are allowed to have some talent and some skill too. I'm 
remember when I was playing a game of XCOM, and every now and then you'd get shot by an alien from a long distance shot that you had no expectation it was going to hit. And I couldn't complain because I was managing to do the same thing to them on occasion. So sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. Just because you're expecting to do well doesn't mean that you aren't going to run the occasional talent from the opposition, no matter what game you play. Ask any NFL team that plays. It's a phrase on any given Sunday, any team could beat any other team. And well, let's face it, ask anybody that played in the Premier League a couple of seasons ago when Leicester won the title. When they started out at 5,000 to 1, according to the bookmakers. On paper, they may not have been the greatest team in the world, but in reality, they showed that they do have the capability of using their talent to the best of its abilities. And Wedderburn, you're starting to get off my disliked list where you've been for the last few games. The goalkeeper dived a little bit early there. But it's always nice to go into half time with a lead. And there's nobody I want to bring off the bench. Yep, there's nobody on the field that's sucking, so and the talent I've got on the bench is essentially backups or rotation players at best. I can't think of any of the players that are on the bench that will actually improve the team by by coming on the field. I'm keeping an eye on Robbie Byrne to make sure he's not the weak link. Ah. Okay, the one player on the bench that I actually think has enough talent is Mr. Michael Wilson. So he can replace the slightly injured... Really? He fouled my guy? I really don't see that. Looked like a perfectly normal and rational tackle to me. <laughs> and there's a standard Wedderburn type free kick. Yeah, blast it ten rows back into the stands. Yikes, Smith. Talk about how to scare me. It's frequently when you come running out of goal like that to claim a loose ball, you um, miss it. I'm not sure how this qualifies as a highlight exactly. Hull playing with a ball in their own half, but okay, the ball over the top may qualify as a highlight. A nice clearance, Riley. There's a guy on the far side where the burn you can pass to. If you'd put the ball further in front of him, maybe he'd been able to run onto it. You don't have to pass directly two feet. You can put it where they can run onto it. Something that took Brian Robson a while to learn when he played at Man United. Oh, unlucky Turner. Good Turner shot, that one. Well, I'm still leading, although it's not as emphatic a, a lead as I might like. And the performance is not exactly overly insp oh, inspiring. But that was beautiful football by Harwood, especially the little jump over the defender, or over the defender's legs. And they're putting on yet another substitute. Oh, Harwood picks, picks up a yellow card as well. Get the ball on the ground, control it. And pass to one of your own players or where one of your own players can run onto the ball. Don't. Yes. I know I said pass into space is what somebody could run onto it, but you've got to give them a fighting chance of getting there. 
like that. Oh, what a burn. He should have at least hit the target there. I wouldn't have minded if the goalkeeper saved that when he was diving. But at least get it between the two sticks. Eek. Oh, well defended, guys. About 15 minutes to go, and this could easily be a draw, or it could be a victory. But well held, Smith. I can't see me losing this one based on the balance of play. However, I can see them snatching a point towards the end. Oh! Don't really know what it did to warrant that sending off, but... Fair enough. Once again, just like the was it Cambridge game? And they were down to 10 men, and I couldn't beat them. I'm wondering if that's going to be the same this time. Oh, two players in the centre, and they both left it for each other there. Yes, it happens, I know, but it's always frustrating when it happens to your side. Beautiful play, that one. Sometimes even my team impresses the living daylights out of me, and that was a beautiful three ball into the channel, and Turner hit it first time beautifully. Yes, I was actually impressed by that goal, even if it's against a 10-man whole team. Oh, Robbie Burns managed to pick up his first yellow card. Well, the first one I've noticed for him, anyway. Nice run by Harwood, he's going to have to stop and turn. Oh, unlucky Slaughter. I always like it when Slaughter has a shot and occasionally scores. He's been a good servant to the club. And I've enjoyed having him play for me, he's caused no problems. He's signed contract, I believe he doesn't even have an agent. Because the contact renewal I did for me, there was no agent fee involved. I like that. I can't think of anything particular that needs addressing after that from my assistant. I can. I'm very pleased. And with that, we're back to having a four-point lead over Southampton, who managed to lose 2-0 to Plymouth. I, I have watched Aston Villa destroy a few teams in recent weeks. Apparently they weren't playing this weren't playing today. But they've had some good results relatively recently. Although apparently in this game, Aston Villa seem to be perennial, almost get promoted back to the Premier League, but don't seem to quite make it. Yes, we will leave it to the physio. He's going to be out for a week or two. After featuring the last league match. Oh, OK. He's almost reached his claws that will increases pay to two and a half thousand a week and the press conference Dan Turner is wonderful and playing at home great And that pretty much says it all. But with that, where is it? Wilson set to a pay increase. It reminded me of something. A friend, a friend and I are playing a multi or a network game of FM, and we're playing in Holland. And over there, the rules of the league are that if you're siding someone who's a non EU player, you've got to pay them a minimum of £7,500 a week. Or well, depending what currency you're using but the equivalent of that and that's a good way of limiting the amount of non-EU players you're going to bring into a side in Holland 
basically it's saying if you want to bring these players in then it's going to take up a chunk of your budget which may not be such a big deal for ix or psv or feyenoord feyenoord however the slightly smaller clubs in the dutch dutch top division that can be a crippling restriction for them to bring in non-eu players if then if you're bringing them in to develop them so it does give you a bias towards more eu players in the dutch league just thought it was an interesting rule anyway on that note i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i will see you down the road